hello guys welcome back in the last video tutorial we have already implemented the music service and also we have played the music files from that service and now we are going to implement this on complete sun listener first so just going to the player activity and from this on complete sun method i'm going to just copy this and just we will have to paste it so just i'm going to cut it from the player activity also going to delete this and there is some error so we have to resolve it by just deleting this interface on completion listener of media player and then i'm going to this music service and just pasted the codes that we have cut it from the player activity and now to resolve this error i'm going to cut this and delete this if statement and pasted the codes that we have just cut it now delete this music service just try to create music media player and here media player dot start and then media player dot not on completed only on completed because we have already this method and to call these three methods we have to create an instance of this action playing so just going to the music service and here we will create the instance of action playing interface action playing and then we can call the methods of action playing interface here first of all i am going to check if action playing is not equal to null then we will call action playing dot button next clicked so inside this block we will cut this and action playing dot paste the cutted code now it will be called once the magic will be completed so now we have to create a new java class that will be for the broadcast receiver and we will name it as notification receiver so just create a new java class inside this package and uh, let's say name it as new notification receiver and press enter it will extend the broadcast receiver so it will have to implement a method that is on receive method to resolve this error and just leave it as it is we will implement that later so now i'm going to player activity here and inside this player activity now going to create a method that will be so notification method and it will be having a an argument of integer type that is the id of the play pause button and also you can watch the notification series where we have discussed about the notification in deep so here i'm going to create an intent new intent this player activity dot class which means once we will click on the notification we will go to the player activity so here i'm going to create a pending intent content intent equal to pending intent dot get activity and here we will have to pass the first argument as context that is this and the second one will be request code let's say zero and uh, the next will be intent that we have just created and the last one will be the flag so i'm going to just pass here zero and copy this and paste it one more time to create an intent for the previous intent which means once we will click on the previous button we will call the notification receiver class and from there we will start the next or previous songs here you will have to just try it uh, the previous intent and also here we will have to change it to flag update current right flag update and then current and after doing this i'm going to just uh, add also set action method and this will be action previous press alt enter and which will be imported from the application class that we have created here you can see application class and here we have created it as public static final so just imported that one and now we have set the action so just copy these two codes and paste it for two more times for making the intent for play pause and next buttons so just write action play here for setting the action for the pause intent and here pause pending and then 
get broadcast actually we have to write get broadcast not get activity for this just write next pending and also here get broadcast then we will have to change also over here get broadcast and here for the pause intent and for this next intent and now we can create a notification so just create before that i'm going to create a bitmap for the large icon that will be showing on the notification as a thumbnail of the music files so picture equals get picture equals first of all we have to write some codes over here so just going to main activity and here i think it should be here no there is no methods over here so just going to close these all the classes and first just copy these codes means the method codes from the music adapter and paste it inside this player activity for getting the album art of that music files as a byte array so just create a picture of byte array type and then picture equals get album art and here we will have to pass the path of that music file and after this we will have to check if picture is not equal to null then we will create the bitmap according to the picture so first outside this if block i'm going to create a bitmap for this as a thumb and assign the value as null thumb equals now bitmap factory dot decode byte array and here we will have to pass the byte array that we have created as a picture and now the offset will be zero and the length will be picture dot length and this will be created as a bitmap and if picture is null means in else block we will create it using the bitmap factory dot decode resources and we will create here the bitmap for the image that we have pasted in our drivable folder our dot drivable dot dvdoc and now we can create the notification using the notification notification equals new notification compact and just delete this parenthesis dot builder and inside this we will have to pass first argument as context and the second one will be the channel id let's say i'm going to pass here channel id 2 that we have created in our application class as a static so after this setting the small icon dot set small icon and here we will have to set play pause button then after this i'm going to set the large icon for this as a thumb that we have created big map and then set content set content text title first which will be the title of the music files so just write music files dot get position dot get title and then set content text here we will write music files dot get position dot get artist we will show the artist of that music file and then i'm going to add the action for these notification buttons so just add a notification button r dot drivable dot previous skip previous and then the care sequence as a title previous let's say and then the pending intent that we have created as previous pending also we have to add it two more times for play pause button and the next button so just here we have to change it to play pause button for the play pause button and then here we have to change it to next button means skip next and just change these titles pause and also here next and also change this pending intent pause pending and next pending then we have to set the style for this and for setting the style we have to write new android x dot media dot app 
dot notification compare dot media style you can see at the top just tap it and then after this parenthesis you will have to write set media session and uh, now here we will have to pass the token so we will first create as a global variable let's say media session compact media session compact and then we will have to initialize it over here in on create method media session compact equals new media session compact and here we will have to pass the context so we will pass here get application context or case get page context so just we will have to pass over here get page context let's say and then we can pass a tag for this let's say my audio and now over here we can get the token from the media session compact using get session token and after this we will build this notification also we can implement something else let's say set priority for this I'm going to set the priority for this as a priority high so write notification compat dot priority high and after this I'm going to set the alert type of this notification set only alert once means it will be alerted only once the notification will be created and after this I'm going to create the notification manager equals uh, get system service and here you will have to pass the notification service and that's it just semicolon and also we will have to cast it using notification manager so write notification manager inside this parenthesis and the error is gone and now we can call the notification manager dot notify and here we will have to pass an id for this and that id will be unique means let's say i'm passing it as zero and then the second one will be the notification that we have just created and now we can call this so notification method to show the notification every time the song changes so i'm going to first write it uh, inside the next button clicked method so just find the next button clicked method i think here we have now here we have to just call the show notification method in if block and also in else block and pass the resource id of the vector set to show the play pause button accordingly so just pause button and here we will have to paste it and here we will have to change it to play circle and that's it also we will have to write here for the previous button and just leave it as it is and also we will have to write it here and change this to play circle then find the play pause button clicked here we have the play pause button clicked method and i'm going to just paste it here and change this to play circle and also here paste it and leave it as it is because these are the same so just close these all the methods now i'm going to close it and for the first time when we will start the player activity means we will start the music then we will call also the so notification method so here i'm going to get intent method and here we will call that method so notification here so just paste it and let's run the app and see if it is working or not
and now you can see the after long time the app is installed but we got some errors means the crash in the app this is because of the media session compared that we have installed it after calling it first in the get intent method we will show it just cut this and paste it over here so that it will be in slide before calling this inside this get intent method and the lock cut error is this now it is working let's click on any one of the song and here you can see the notification is showing over here and also the music file is playing so we have created the notification and also played the song correctly and here you can see the play pause button next button and previous button and also the title and the singer name so that's it for this part and we will continue the notification controller in the next part